Hello gardeners and today I'm going to be showing you my steps for full lawn rejuvenation. So I'll be taking you through a few time lapse and explaining what I'm doing at each stage. So I'll show you the lawn that we're currently working on and then I'll show you through the steps and the guide to get your lawn back to how it should be. If you are subscribed then thank you so much for watching. If you're not then consider hitting that subscribe button and if anything in this video is useful hit a like. We'd love to hear about some of your stories of, of steps you've taken to try and rejuvenate your lawn. So let us know in the comments what you've been trying and whether this video has helped. So this is the lawn that we're working on today. As you can see, there's quite a few patchy areas. There's lots of dips. It's not very level and it looks like it's suffering quite a lot from some nutrients deficiency. Now, the owner's tried quite a lot of things to bring this back. However, he's called us in to bring this back to its full potential. So I think what we'll do is we'll start off with a strim and a mow just to take it all down to a certain level and neaten it up. Then what we'll do is we'll scarify it using a hand rake just to get all the dead stuff up, aerate it, chuck some topsoil down, level it out, we'll compact that topsoil, make sure it's nice and even bed, and then what we'll do is we'll chuck some seed down, protect that seed with some more topsoil, and then give it a good water for the customer. I'll talk about the aftercare for these steps as well, but I think what we'll do is we'll just go onto a time lapse and get on with it. Okay, for some reason that time lapse stopped, but all you missed was me absolutely leveling it out about two or three times, tidying up all the edges, making sure that there's no more thatch, and then just going along and uh, applying the seed by an applicator. I applied that at 36 GSM. And then what I did is I just lightly raked it over into the, into the tilth to make sure that there's good contact for the seed. Now all I'm gonna do is get on with water in it, so I'll show you the method I use, there's not a sprinkler here, so you've got to be very careful not to disrupt any seed, but we'll get on with that and then hopefully you'll see what I mean. So we started off by giving it a quick mow and a strim so it's all one equal level for this remaining grass that you've got there. I then defatched it using a rake to get all the dead stuff out. Then what I done is I aerated it to allow the roots to be able to breathe. What that means is punching small holes into the soil and what that's going to do is any water that we now give it is going to go straight to the root and make sure that these ger seeds germinate and succeed. Then what I did is applied all the topsoil, I leveled it out using a roller and a rake to try and get a nice level playing field. I then applied the seed and raked that into the fine tilth to try and get the best germination. Now what I'd advise is watering it once in the morning and once in the afternoon for five to ten minutes. As soon as you wake up and then before you go to bed would be great. And what that's going to do is really help those seeds germinate in this hot weather. 
uh, what I would say is even if it rains, it might not have got the amount of water it needs. So if it does rain, maybe just do it once in the morning or once in the evening, but definitely stick to twice a day. So in terms of aftercare, I'm gonna wait three weeks and we should start to see germination. I'll come back and give it its first mow for you. It might need uh, some slow release lawn food and any areas that are still patchy will be overseeded for you. So that's basically what we've done. So that was the steps that I use for complete lawn rejuvenation. It's a lot more cost effective than ripping it out and laying a new turf. And most of the time in the UK, you see brilliant results. So make sure you hit the subscribe button with the notification bell. Give this video a like and follow the progress of this lawn. I will be coming back in three weeks to check on its growth, give it its first mow and overseed any areas that need it. Thank you so much for watching The Big Friendly Gardener. I'm Jack. Have a good day and get gardening.